Hi, I'm Andrew Stevenson, and in today's video, we're going to be making lined paper in Affinity Publisher version 2. So, this is the updated version of Affinity Publisher. I've seen some videos, some things have changed, some have stayed the same, but I thought I'd buy it anyway, primarily because there's a sale on at the moment. And you can buy all three pieces of software that's Publisher, Designer, and photo for 89.99 or you can buy them individually for 30 34.99 39.99 something like that it's a 40 percent saving and as this is version 2 it's obviously going to get new features and support all the way through whereas imagine version 1 support will end sooner rather than later so this is the first screen you see when you open it up this is the create a document screen and it is different to version 1 you still have your preset sizes here print press ready photo web devices open explanatory recent I imagine that is the recent documents that you've created template and these are samples they can download and work with but because we're making a document from scratch we're going to start with new I'm going to keep on print but I'm not going to use these presets I'm going to edit it in this space here and I want to be working in inches and I want to go for eight and a half by eleven so now you have a preview of what the page looks like actually up here that's interesting so I can see if this is a preset and it'll appear here so I'll set up the rest of this document and then I'll I'll save it as a preset I will put margins in and the bleed so remember that the margin size will depend on how many pages you have in your book because this is going to be under 150 these are the correct margins the inside is always a little bit bigger because there is a gutter to contend with so the thicker the book the more gutter there needs to be on the spine end. I'll put the bleed in now. And the bleed will be 0.125 all the way around, apart from on the inside because you don't need it. If you were to have a bleed on the inside pages when you have these, uh, when you're using a document with facing pages, the bleed actually appears on the other page. Uh, so it prints out a, 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 a slight line of colour or whatever the bleed would contain on the other page so we don't need that I found that out the hard way by the way when I was making a book with colour pages on each side a tiny slither of the image would appear from this page down here and then from this page down there it just made it look a bit rubbish so that's the document set up. I've got page size, bar borders, margins, I mean, and bleed. And I'll save this as a preset. I shall save this as 8.5 by 11. Oops. With bleed. Save it in the print section. And that's a page there. That is good. I like that. In the previous version, you you could create and save as a template, but this is just straight in your presets. So this is the file here. It, it all looks pretty similar. Master pages, pages tab, the tools along the side. The icons look a bit more modern, but I think they're all pretty standard. Add a few more pages. Yeah, absolutely fine. So I'm going to start in the... Because we're going to have the same page repeat over and over again, I'm just going to do it in the master page. So first things first, to make the lines, we're going to use the table tool, which is there. I'm just going to draw out a smallish table. I'm just going to drag this the entire length of the 
double spread just because you know it's gonna be lines all the way down it's easier to make one table rather than make a table there copy it and then make a table on the other side next I'm gonna select all the cells and now I'm gonna set up the different size uh, line spacings and this was in table tools which is still there so that's still the same and with all of them selected I want the height of each cell so this is going to be college ruled and I did a bit of research college ruled is 7.1 millimeters there we go so even though the documents in inches you can put any measurement value in there and it'll convert into inches correctly so that's fine and then I'm just going to use these two arrows here pull down to create more lines I'll leave it at that for the minute because I want to make this top cell a little bit deeper I want this to be a bigger space because you know that's how they are in books you have the top the top line is quite a, a big one so you can put headings in it and things like that so I'm going to change that to one inch shut that down for now and that's it as simple as that that's your line journal made in affinity publisher 2 there we go that's that now if you want to now obviously add as many pages as you want you know 100 200 300 whatever just be aware that the more pages you put in the more expensive it's going to be and if you go over 150 pages you need to adjust your inner margin now another thing you can do is you can add a line down this side of the page and down this side of the page as a margin that people you know a second column of lines you know some some pages have it i prefer notepads that do just so you can have a separate area for different headings or columns or bullet points without taking up the main writing page of the of the main area of the writing page so we'll do that now and to do that I need to insert a column so there's the column there I'll just drag and I think that this margin here we'll call it this this line of margin needs to be mm, a third of an inch maybe so with column A selected, table tool, and we'll change the width of this column. And we'll say 0.375. No, that's not enough. An inch. No, maybe you know, I think actually instead of 0.375 of an inch, I think I saw 3.75 centimeters. So again, that's not a problem. There you go. So there you go, we'll have it. A nice line run down the side there so now I want to copy that on this side of the page so I'll just quickly add another two columns I'll have to adjust this again but I should have added four originally I'll change a width to 3.75 centimeters again and I'll change C width 3.75 shut that down and there you have it you can make this margin any size you want but yeah 3.75 will do for me for this demonstration I'll just take the margins off so you can see it a bit better and you can if you want to cut if you wanted to print in color although you know I wouldn't recommend it but you can you can change the color of any of these lines sometimes the the lines are blue and this margin is red you can do that just by going into the area and changing the stroke color there so say I wanted to change the margin there red I'd highlight column A I would pick 
the right hand margin change the color to red there you go it looks more professional but it costs more money to print so that's it for today's video just a quick view on affinity version 2 it's pretty identical so if you if you don't have the money or you know you don't want to spend the money then affinity version 1 is perfectly fine for creating low content journals do your own research i've researched videos on version 2 and to be honest pretty much everything that you want for low content and medium content books it's already present in version 1 so the upgrade at the minute i don't think it's particularly necessary but you know i've bought it just because you know i'm sure there'll be new features rolled out and also version one the support eventually will will dwindle so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching and i shall see you next time yeah.